Salutations, cosmonauts! So, last episode, I got the razor's leaf and the mantis suit. I am the mantis. But, I hate to say it, but my first impressions of this ship, I thought it was really cool looking. I mean, it does look so freaking cool. Look at this, it looks amazing. But I kind of dismissed it offhandedly, like, I'm not going to use this. It's missing all kinds of stuff that I added to the Mondu too. But I thought, you know, why don't I add stuff to the razor leaf? I mean, I like modding ships, so why don't I do it? But then I was like, maybe that's against the spirit of what this ship's supposed to be about. But then there's sort of like a built-in canon or lore with this ship. Like, there was a log mentioning that a lot of systems on this thing was outdated and could uh, stand to be uh, updated, you know? So yeah, that's what I'm going to do this episode. This is going to be a fairly short episode. I'm just going to dedicate this entire episode to updating, modifying Anything the Razor Leaf. With? Need some work done? Uh, I actually need some repairs. Sure thing. Okay, so here she is, the Razor Leaf. So, uh, just to get a clear view of things, we're going to start, as always, by uh, pulling some things apart so we can get a better view of what's going on. So, by a control clicking on those two items, and that, I've selected all three of those things, I can just kind of uh, pull it off. Let's move that aside, do the same thing on this here. Pull that off. Boop. And also, I think we're going to pull these landing gears off. All right, now we have a clearer view of what's going on. So, what we have here, we have an armory, a nice reactor here, pretty good. And we have a captain's quarters here. I want to keep the captain's quarters because I want to keep the bed. And what I really like about this ship is that uh, you can go straight from entering, crossing through the captain's uh, quarters, and right into the cockpit. It's just a straight shot. So, what do I want from this ship? I want more cargo, and I want a science lab, and I want uh, a workstation, and also, right now, as it stands, um, I could take two crew, but I can't take any passengers here. So, um, I'm not sure how this game works, but I have a feeling that there's going to be missions that require you uh, uh, to take on passengers, and I'm not sure if they can occupy crew space. But anyways, my crew space is maxed out with Andresia and Sarah. So, what am I going to do here? Um, this armory is nice, but... I like the idea of displaying weapons and things, and that does fall in line with the Mantis, but this is the one thing, if I'm going against the spirit of this ship, is that I'm going to actually change this. So if I click that, I'm going to delete it, and now let's add something. And I also learned some new tricks, I watched some videos on how to build ships, but if you uh, hover over this connection port and press G, it'll show you all the things you could add to it. So, we're going to go on to hubs, and we're going to see if we could find something, and these are demos parts by the way. And it just so happens that this starport has Deimos parts. So we're going to go here and we're going to look for something with passengers. So this has passengers, all in one berth. What else we got? We got living quarters. Let's do living quarters. That way at least my crew also has something. So let's put that there. Boom. So we got that. And now I want to add a, a workshop. So once again, I'm going to hover over this right here. Press G. Boop. And now we can see uh, what we can add. And I want a workshop. Boom, and uh, attached like that, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it like this because I could work with this. I think this is gonna fall in line with what I want. And then over here we're gonna put a science lab. So press G, go to the science lab. There it is. There we go. Science lab. Did I change this on accident? No, that's still living quarters. All right. So now that we got that in place, um, I guess we could start putting stuff back. So I'm gonna go ahead and reattach these. Well, actually, let me color match this. So, uh, this is something I haven't actually tried. But, uh, from what I understand, if you click apart with the paint scheme that you want, you press J for coloring. This is uh, what's standard, and if I were to just make a tiny change, change it back, then hit accept, I could kind of carry that over. So, uh, I'm going to select the parts that I just added. Let's hit J. And I think that's about right. And so, I already know because I was tinkering, I know what the color is. So color one, I want to click this. Color two is going to be the second one. Color three is also going to be the second one. Boom. There we go. Beautifully matched colors. Alright, now let's start putting stuff back and see if we can make sense of this bad boy. So let's go ahead and put this back. Put these back. And then this, I'm going to have to actually shift. Because it's not going to make sense to connect it up here, but... If I choose this, and then move it over here, and then do this over here, there we go. So for the most part, I think I preserved the look of the ship, but now these kind of stand out, so I want to make these fit in just a little bit better. 
So uh, we could actually add some things up here to break up this flatness. So once again, I'm going to uh, hover over there, press G. And now we're going to go into structural stuff. And what I was looking at was like these demos things. So we'll put that there. Then press G here. And then that was a demo spine A that I just had. Now I'm going to add demo spine B. And there we go. That broke that up. Now let's... Uh, Select both of those, copy it by pressing uh, Control and G. Ah! No! I'm just kidding! I somehow cl I accidentally replicated that too. Alright, let's try this again. It's selected, so now let me go Control G. There we go. So you'd have to hover over it. Now we're gonna match these paint jobs with this one. But first, let's make sure that the color scheme is just right still. Alright, it's still good. I'm just paranoid. Alright, so now I could just select these parts. Press J. And it's gonna be the same thing. So color one will be the, the first one, color two will be the second one, and the third one will be the second one as well. Look at that! Yeah, that's looking good. Uh but there's some other things I wanna do. Oh yeah, I wanted to add cargo. So I obviously can't copy and paste this here. Uh yeah, I can't copy and paste this. This is a shielded cargo ship, and uh, you can't buy this at this port. But my cargo is only at 390. In um, my upgraded version in Mondu 2, I had over 800 cargo. So I want to try to match that as close as possible. And to do that, we could also um, take care of something else, like this flat area here. It doesn't match with the aesthetics of the rest of the ship, but there's something we can do. So I'm going to hover over this, press G. Now let's go into cargo, and look at this thing. Look how perfect that is. Talk about falling in line with the aesthetics of the ship, yeah? Yeah, pretty cool. And now I'm gonna hover over this. Press Control G. And then we're gonna put this bad boy over here. Press Z to flip it. Boom. Hey, there we go. All right, and now I have 910 cargo. So it looks like I lost some jump range here. This red means that um, technically my um, landing gear I could use a bit more landing gears, but this isn't really going to hurt anything. I like to think of as this door for the port here, as like another landing gear, but yeah, that's what that looks like. So I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade uh, my grav drive. So let's take a look at this grav jump. Thrust is 16, max power of 9. So I'm going to select it and delete it. And then clicking here, or holding, hovering over there, I'm going to press G. And now let's go to grav drives. All right, so this is grab drives you got. So this is the aesthetic. This is what we had before. So 16, this goes up to 20. And these other ones will probably fit as well. But this grab jump thrust is only 14. This one is 19. And this one I just don't have. I don't have a Star uh, Starship Design Rank 1. I'd actually like to have that. I would. Uh, I would consider spending, but anyways, so far the modifications we made uh, is roughly about 6,000 credits, not bad, right? But that's gonna get a lot more expensive when I uh, update the weapons. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go with this. This looks exactly the same as the old one, but it has uh, four more uh, grab jump thrust and more uh, health. And it used the exact same amount of power, but it does weigh a little bit heavier. So let's go ahead and add this. All right, so now my jump range is now 19 light years. What was uh, what was Mondo 2? I think Mondo 2 was 25, so I did lose a little bit of jump range here. I think to update this, I don't know, um, just an experimentation. Let's um, add another fuel tank and see if that actually does anything. Wait, I have an error here. Oh, what's my flight check say? Ship has unattached modules. What? All right, I gotta figure this out. What's not attached? Oh, <laughs> I know it's not attached to the engines. Okay, so these engines go down. Uh, why isn't it moving? There we go. These engines actually go down here. So we, we forgot to reattach that. There we go. So, yeah. I'm also going to do something about the back here. I don't like the flatness there. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. I want to do... Huh. It's not letting me copy. Pa oh, this must be... Oh, okay. So... This uh, station doesn't sell these uh, tanks, so I can't uh, buy a duplicate of that. But you know what? I think we have something similar here. Okay, here's the fuel tank. So I do have something here that looks like bowls. So these are... 
Grab jump fuel of 100. What are these? 140. All right, so just out of the experimentation, if I just add this, that can't go there. Actually, I need to get away from the center of this ship here. Let's zoom out. Hold on. Let's zoom out. Move to the side here. And now that when I summon something, it shouldn't automatically try to attach. So that's experimentation. I'm going to see if, um, if I attach this anywhere, if this actually affects. Um, I have nowhere to attach it. All right, for now, I'm going to move this aside. Put this over here. And... Okay, that did not affect. So the amount of fuel you have doesn't actually um, affect the jump range. Okay. So, I'm happy. I'll, I'm fine with that. I'll live with 19 light, uh, light year jump range. So now let's add something to the back of these. Here. And a good way to like figure out... Like when you do this and you press G, it's only going to show you things that you could add on to that specific slot. So, we're going to look at structural stuff. So here's the structural stuff. Let's get an angle of what's going on. Um, okay, a porthole. Demo's belly. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I kind of don't like that. Okay, so the only thing... Alright, let's just see how this looks. That added 10 more mass. I still have 100 mobility though. That, that kind of looks like fake engines though. So I don't like that. My only engines are here. And down here. So when I actually take off you'll see like flames and stuff coming out of here but not here. So I don't like it. It looks like, you know, like when someone puts a fake spoiler in their car. I'll probably just put portholes here. Because I don't like any of this. When we go to other star, sh uh, star stations and stuff and start seeing what they sell. We may even come up with something better. So... We'll go with that. Select it, press G, right over here. And the color doesn't quite match. So let's go here and press J. And with these, uh, you only have one color option, so I'm just gonna make it match gray, so it matches with this trim here. Do the same here. Except boom. Yeah, that looks so much better. So that's pretty cool. And what about this side? I mean, if I put these portholes here and you're looking out the window, you just see the landing gear, but... Uh, if I can squeeze it in, I'm gonna do it. Let's see. Yeah, we can squeeze it in. Alright, let's match these this paint job. Boop. Accept. And this one, too. Oh, yeah, that adds... Yeah, it's that that, that, that makes it look more interesting, doesn't it? So this is the final shape of the ship. I've somehow dropped two mass. Oh, well. oh, I guess windows are lighter than metal. So now that that's done, I want to upgrade uh, my weapons. So, having learned my lesson in my last episode when I was trying to uh, disable ships to board them, I was doing so much damage that I was destroying the ship before I actually just destroyed the engine. So what I need to do is um, add weapons, electro, I forget what it's called. Uh, EM. The abbreviation is EM, and what that does is does it does a little damage, but it uh, but it um disrupts the function of the various devices on a ship. So you would want to use that, and that would disable the engines without destroying the ship. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So I have three weapons here. Let me see something. Flight check. What weapons do I have? I have a pulse laser, uh, an electron beam, and a launcher. I don't like lasers because. Um, they mainly do like shield damage, but no hull damage. And I think the electron beam does like equal parts laser and hull. So it's like, why have lasers when you could just have electron beams? So, okay, so what do we have here? And the range isn't even that good, 1,250. What are the weapons I put on uh, Mondo 2 had uh, 3,500, and that's probably what I'll put here. So I don't have one more than two weapon systems either. So since I want to put the EM weapons on here, I'm gonna do away with the missiles. So let's get rid of these missiles. Although these missiles have 44,000 range. Pretty good, but I don't want that. And I don't want these lasers either. Let's just get rid of all the weapons. All right, so first let's uh, look for the EM weapon. Let's put this here. G. Weapons. It's these suppressors here. Yeah. Oof, that's 13,000. 
All right, so what are we looking at here? So it actually does a lot of hole damage. This doesn't. This does hole and shield damage of only one. I could end up destroying the ship by using the suppressor. All right, I'm gonna put the the Spark 750 suppressor, thirteen thousand a piece, and I'm gonna put two of these bad boys. Oh god, that looks horrible though. Can you change the color at least? No, you can't change the color of these stupid things. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that looks horrible. What if I put these somewhere else, like... Did I forget to put my grab drive in? Oh my god, I forgot to put a grab drive in. Son of a beach, hold on. Alright, this is what we're going with. Boom. And that color doesn't match. Can I change it? Yeah, I can. And we're just going to match the color. Oh, wait a minute. I lost my color palette. Cancel. So, just start over. No, choose this. Let's press J. Boop, boop. Accept. And now we should be able to do this here. All right. So, color scheme. Yeah, gray. This one and this one. There we go. Nice. Glorious even. What was I doing? Oh yeah. I was gonna see if I could find a better spot for these. I'm thinking if I put this. Okay, so that's on a different plane, so I gotta raise the plane by pressing R. Am I high enough yet? Why are you messing with me, ship? I don't want it there. I want it here. All right, I know what I can do. <laughs> just, just uh, hover over this spot and press G. And where was that suppressor? Here we are, boom. And put this over here. Uh, I'm still not in love with it, but it kind of makes more sense there. Because since there's so much detail in here, it kind of blends in a little bit better. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that. I'm up to 38,000. I've got 62. And now let's put the the, the, the the particle beams or whatever they're called. And I want to put the same ones I put on the Mondu because those were awesome. I believe it was this one. Yeah, that's it. Oh, the color already matches. That's cool. So we'll just copy and paste this. So each weapon uh, takes up three power and the most you could do is 12. So if I wanted to, I could do three of these bad boys. Because I think I have the energy to spare. I mean, there's one way to know for sure. Let's just for fun. Let's go with three. Do you think that disrupts the line of the ship too much, you think? Nah, let's go with that. All right, so then, equipment power 14. Hold on, let's check something. Let's assign these weapons. The first weapon, I want uh, the disruptor electron beam. And then the second, I want the suppressor. And then, okay. Let's close that. So, we got three blue bars here. So, no, I can't fully power everything if... Um, if I go with three being uh, three whatever, although I could just take it out of the grab drive. I mean, you don't need a full grab drive. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. So we should really take the, down things really fast. And this shield is good. 30, 30, 90. 390 max health, shield health. Takes. Wait a minute. Power of four. No, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. So I have two passengers and everything, and I think I'm done. Yeah, I think I'm done. So look at that. What do you think, guys? I think I matched the spirit of the Razor Leaf by, you know, having modded it. Still very nimble ship, still 100 of mobility. Now the firepower and the cargo is uh, upgraded, even over the Mondo 2. And I have shielded cargo, so I could smuggle stuff. So that's cool. So total spent on this build is 45,000. So not too bad. All right, so let's get out of here. We're done. But the proof is in the pudding, right? Where does that say? Uh, where does that saying come from? Sounds British. So let's, let's see what the interior living space looks like now. Ooh, 
always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. You you said it, Andrea. So here's opening. So when we uh, dock onto stations and other ships, this is our portal. So coming right in, I want to make sure I preserve the straight line all the way to the cockpit. Uh, is this captain's quarters? Yeah, this captain's quarters. Here's my bed. And then here's the cockpit, right? Yep. Yeah, this is great. So you enter in a straight shot all the yeah, way to the cockpit. That's one thing I did mess up on the Mondu. It wasn't a straight shot, so I kept running into the wrong room. So yeah, we still got this awesome cockpit. Now let's look at the other upgrades we made. All right, so coming up here, this is uh, the, the, the crew quarter. I was hoping they had their own beds, but nope, this is just a place to relax, eat dinner. And then back here, this should be my workshop, right? Or is this my science lab? Oh, this is my workshop. So here's that porthole. There's the landing gear. <laughs> But yeah, here's my industrial workbench, here's my spacesuit workbench, and here's my weapon bench. Even though I still haven't spent perks on like weapons research and stuff, so it's not like I need it now, but yeah. And we got a portal here. And my science lab. So this is the demos version of all this stuff. Porthole. My research station and uh, my pharmaceutical lab. So I did have to sacrifice uh, the armory for this, but I think it's a good trade, fair trade. This is a more livable ship, full-time ship, and the weapon should be badass. I would test out the combat, I'll show you guys, but I, I don't know where to go to like find combat right away. But I will take her up so we can see what it's like, and I wanna see um, about um, how I'm gonna deviate the juice between the weapons and everything. Let's go Black Mantis! <laughs> Not Black Mantis, just Mantis. Yeah, man! I think that looks awesome. That looks so sweet. Yeah, man. I wish I could zoom out a little bit. Okay, so I've got... Okay, so I kind of underestimated the juice. Like right now, I don't have anything in my grab drive. But, and I'd want to power this all the way up as much as possible. Okay, so I guess when I, when I jump, I'll take it from the engine. Okay, so uh, I did the math wrong, I guess, with uh, how the power is dispersed, but still a very nimble ship. So very nimble. Whew. Turn on a dime with the thrusters. Yeah. So that's the EM weapons. Disable sh uh, engines and things. Better not accidentally uh, shoot a another one of these ships. You know, I could have uh, upgraded the reactor if I really cared, but 18 is, was where Mondo 2 was, and I remember reactors being expensive beyond that, or I needed an, uh, another class. But anyways, guys, that's my ship. That's the Razor Leaf upgraded. I mean, you could tinker and experiment yourself, see if you can get uh, like a better juice ratios, but um, I'm pretty happy with this. I could live with this. So, thank you for watching this video, guys. Hope you learned something. Hope you found this interesting. Oh, so much fun. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. I love ya.